Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and people of the internet? It's Boss here, bringing you guys another YouTube video back onto my channel. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, I want you guys to click that subscribe button, and it'll be much appreciated because I kind of do want to reach my goal of 3K kind of soon. But besides that, let's get on to the gameplay commentary of today. Now, today there's going to be some advanced warfare gameplay running in the background because I don't have anything else to post tier tier, and since this comp, yeah. Since this commentary is going to be gameplay, it's going to be Call of Duty uh, related, so I should have some Call of Duty gaming related <laughs> gameplay. So, wow, I kind of just messed up on my words, but whatever. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be talking about the evolution of guns. I'm not sure if anyone has done this commentary topic yet, but I'm not sure if it's popular or anything. I just It just came to my mind in, in school, so might as well just do it, right? So, I'm going to be talking about the evolutions of guns in Call of Duty. Now, I hope I don't step any... Uh, I don't hope, eh, fuck. I don't hope I don't step on any toes in the Rifle Association community. I kind of messed up on that. Because I honestly am not the rifle expert, so I'm just going to be basing it off of the Call of Duty history. So please don't hate me if I do sound like a Call of Duty fanboy. I'm basically just saying it right now. So, starting off with Call of Duty 4, and I'm going to ignore, it, you know, World at War because that is kind of irrelevant in this, uh, commentary so sorry about that world at war fans i do want to see another world at war but that's not going to be for today so yeah going back into the call of duty 4 guns so yeah um mainly what i'm going to cover about call of duty 4 was the m4 carbine as well as the m16 because those were my favorite guns as well as the m4 0 a3 i believe that was called i'm sorry i've not played call of duty 4 in the longest of time i would play that shit if i had it right now not gonna lie and uh moving fast forward and get to uh modern warfare 2 where of course these two guns got a brand new upgrade and the m40a3 was replaced with the intervention as well as the barrett 50 cal which the barrett 50 cal also got a brand new kind of plastic surgery along with the other guns uh from cod 4 and uh it was actually well the m4 was actually revamped into the m4a1 and i did enjoy that one way more than than the standard m4 carbine from call of duty 4 and then they introduced the tmp as well as the uh, the famas which is in other games called the f1 i'm not sure which one it is i'm not sure if it's the famas one stuff like that who knows you guys can tell me in the comment section down below so what i did enjoy about the game was the brand new guns so now moving on to black ops one which was later released afterwards the m16 kind of got a downgrade when it came to the you know the face of the gun it kind of looked uglier i'm not gonna lie i'm sorry Treyarch. that shit looked ugly as shit and <laughs> um the spaz 12 got a reboot and i actually enjoyed the spaz 12 from black ops 1 even even though it was weaker than the black ops 2 one um and also i did not enjoy so much the uh the new FAMAS. I actually did enjoy how overpowered it was, but I kind of did enjoy more the OP3 shot uh, version of it that was introduced in Modern Warfare 2. Now moving on to Modern Warfare 3 where the FAMAS was sadly not in there. Then the M16 looks so dumb. I'm sorry, uh, it's Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward. That gun looks so retarded and I did not enjoy it at all in Modern Warfare 3 even though the game's old so I really can't complain that much. Uh, then the M4A1 was reintroduced as well as the ACR that just looked too skinny. I missed the fat ACR. I'm not sure if it was the camera angle that made it look skinny, but that shit did not look OP even though it was. And that had zero recoil, which I really, really did enjoy. And the TMP that I mentioned in Modern Warfare 2 was then introduced into Modern Warfare 3 as the MP9 as well as the Glock, which still had the same face, and the Striker, which was then more OP, etc, etc. Some guns got replaced, some guns did now talking about black ops 2 black ops 2 kind of did kill everything else except for wait no it did kill everything <laughs> um it introduced the pdw now the pdw i didn't enjoy it except it looked like a nail gun which i'm not hating it was a really overpowered nail gun and then it was brought into ghost which then it was turned into a pistol and again in advanced warfare where it was again a pistol which really disappointed me because my favorite nail gun was it was taint ah was changed into like some kind of bb gun that did not do any fucking damage in my opinion so that's uh that's basically the coverage of uh my favorite uh 
Call of Duty gun changes over the years. So if you guys did enjoy this commentary, please leave a like and comment down below what you guys think was your favorite gun change or what was your favorite gun in previous Call of Duties. And if you're not subscribed now, please click that subscribe button now. That would be much appreciated. And that's pretty much it for this. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.